Hello, I'm Chris Cohen and this is Dandy TV. Now, for those of you who haven't seen the show before, we're going to give you a little preview as to the sort of things we get up to every week. We have celebrity interviews, computer game reviews, jokes and current affairs. We start with the news that the Mona Lisa has been arrested after a string of robberies in Paris. The Mona Lisa has reacted angrily, insisting she's been framed. In sports news, Sir Alex Ferguson has bought a sparrow for Manchester United. When asked about the signing, he said he bought the sparrow because the bird was going cheap. An alarm clock has gone on sale this week, aimed specifically at ducks. A spokesman for the product has said it'll help them get up at the quack of dawn. To Sheffield now, and neighbours have complained about a nearby Slazinger tennis factory making too much noise. A spokesman at the factory said they were sorry for making a racket. The boy has avoided being expelled from school after not doing his homework in 10 months. He said, they can't punish me for something I haven't done. <laughs> and finally, I rushed to the rescue in my family after my mum's sister fell and cut her knee. I gave her some antiseptic. That's it for the Dandy News this week. Back to you, Chris. So, you've seen the news. I'm wearing shoes. You're probably confused about what video games to choose. So, why don't you watch some reviews? So this year is the year of Luigi, they're really pushing him hard, so everything's going green this year. And the first big thing for Luigi this year is a game called Luigi's Mansion, which is coming to 3DS. Basically, you're trying to clear a haunted mansion of the ghosts, and you have a, a backpack on which has a little hoover on it. Ubisoft have brought out something called Rocksmith. It's actually a game, and it's a, just a little cable. And a cable that means that you can make your console into a guitar amp. You can plug in any electric guitar you want. Now, this might just look like a bit of plastic. This is actually the portal of power. Now this plugs into your games console. And when you place them on the portal of power, they get sucked into the game and they become your playable character. See, it's kind of like Super Mario a bit, but with an F1 card. It makes it more realistic. It gives you a closer feel to what you'd be doing in real life. Compared to real racing, it's quite similar. You've got understeer, you've got oversteer, you're overtaking, going to the inside, defending. Just last week, Activision have announced that there's going to be a new version coming out called Swap Force. There's 32 new toys. You're going to be able to swap the top halves of some with the bottom halves of others. While there are only 16 new swap figures, you can actually get over 256 combinations. Okay, Disney Infinity is better. And do you know why? Yeah, well, think about all your favourite films like Monsters Inc., Pirates of the Caribbean, The Incredibles. In Disney Infinity, you get to play inside the films that you love already. I think that's really cool. As well as all that, we try out loads of fun activities, including go karting, skiing, football, rugby, and feeding otters. Obviously, for this year's resolution, I've decided to play for England. As you do? Yeah, well, last year I gave up uh, wheat. What do you think it takes to be an England player? Uh, hard work. Mm, I, could, I could do that. Pretty good at football as well. Half decent at football at help as well, yeah. Yeah. You're a fine figure of a man, but I think that we need to get you yeah. all up here. You know, you see a lot of football, Tom Huddleston, that kind of big I'm desperate Dan. But I don't play for a club, obviously. You play for one of the best teams in the Premier League. Do you think that'll be a stumbling block for me, or do you think I should be able to just get straight in if I speak to the manager? <laughs> Now, your safest place on skis is forwards. Oh, and you thought Banana Man was impressive. Don't go ah! <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> Head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees. And toes. <laughs> I'll stand up, sorry, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh. Yeah! I promise you, I swear on my life, I have not skied before. Right, it's time to learn more about this amazing game they call rugby. So, let's do it. It's a bit like football, really, but different. <laughs> There was a, on that bend there was a badger came out and I had to turn for the badger so I slowed 
right down in it. I saw it, yeah. Definitely. Definitely the Badger's fault. We also interview loads of celebrities and ask them the hard-hitting questions. Like, can you touch your nose with your tongue and what's the weirdest noise you can make? What was your favourite subject at school and why? My favourite subject at school was drama because I got to show off a lot and be in plays and write things and pretend to be superheroes or doctors or, you know, pretending is really great. Who's the most famous person on your mobile phone? I have got Noel Gallagher from Oasis fame and that's pretty special. What's your favourite dandy character? Uh, Banana Man. He's the main man. I love that guy. Desperate Dan, it's got to be the one and only Desperate Dan. You know, the guy's amazing. My favourite dandy character is the Numbskulls because it turns out that that isn't actually how the human body works. But I think it is broadly, more or less actually, probably more true than what scientists blinking tell you. Can you touch your nose with your tongue? No. What's the weirdest noise you can make? Now I'm brilliant at telling jokes. Hey, uh, do you want to hear a joke? Yeah. What did the uh, magician say when he skied down the hill? Abra ski dabra. <laughs> Abra ski dabra. Uh, what's a butcher's favourite film? Meet the parents. Because <coughs> of the, of the meat bit. Is that it? And if you think you're funnier than me, then email us a video of your favourite jokes to jokesatdandy.com and you might see yourself in a forthcoming episode, just like these guys did. Where do bees go on holiday? I don't know. Stingapore. What do you call a pig that knows karate? A pork chop. What do you call a man who wears paper trousers? I don't know. What do you call a man that wears paper trousers? Russell. What do you call it when a bull and a dog collide? A bulldog. What's the difference between a teacher and a book? <laughs> you can shut a book up. <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Fairy. Fairy who? Very nice to meet you. So if you want to join in fun, what are you waiting for? Get your parents to download the app now from the Google Play Store or the App Store. Or you can just go to dandy.com and you can watch it on anything. Your smartphone, your tablet, a laptop, a PC, but not an ostrich. They get really annoyed about it. See you soon.